What is up guys, Mike back with another video and today we're taking a look at another projector, normal service has resumed. So this is the XPE 460, happens to be one of the most popular projectors available on Amazon UK site at least, really highly ranked, displays up to 1080p, not its native resolution and it's also got support for an SD card slot, you can also use like an external Wi-Fi dongle and mirror cast off it from your smartphone or tablet. For those of you that are interested, this is a video that's coming soon. So guys, here it is. This is the uh, Serenova XPE460 projector. So like I said, I, um, this got some fantastic reviews on Amazon, and I thought we'd check it out. So let's see what the uh, unboxing experience looks like. This is always nice. So when you open the box, you can see that very lovely, thick, spongy packaging. So if we take this thing out, good protection is always welcome, in my opinion. Doesn't matter what the price point is, if they actually include something like that, it's all great. So, let's put this aside. Here it is, it doesn't come in any cardboard box. This looks really interesting. Um, I am yet to see a projector at this price point that comes what looks like a flat cable. It looks like a pretty long flat cable. Nice, really impressed, nice start. It's It's gotta be around two meters long. I will check in the manual, but it's a HDMI cable that's gotta be around two meters long, and it's a flat cable, easy for cable management. We also get a power lead, and here is the remote. It's got this uh, fake brushed aluminum look to it. It looks pretty nice. It's, doesn't weigh very much. Uh, yeah, it's just a simple remote. You got your media keys on it. You got your, your uh, enter, left, right, up, down, arrow keys, and then you got your digits on the bottom. Uh, one video cable with a 3.5mm jack, nothing special, very useful though. One adjustable foot with a screw thread, now this is very useful for uh, correcting your vertical, setting up your projector basically, getting it all level, nice and simple. So before we get the uh, projector uh, look going, oh there you go, that's what I was looking for. Now with all of these uh, projectors that I have tested, it's one of the most annoying thing is literally the instructions. This thing looks really nice, it's got a hardcover shell to it, it looks like a proper instruction manual as you would expect from a premium looking product. So yeah, I've got nothing to say about it. Let's, let's have a little read to see if it's really poorly written broken English and looking at it I, I think, it, wow, yeah. The English is all coherent and it's very understandable, so good job. So guys, let's get this projector out. Let's see what this thing looks like. What the fuck? Wow. Now, let me just tell you, straight off the bat, by far the nicest looking projector that I have actually seen at this price point. So, let's take a look at it. Um, HDMI port on the back. You've got your uh, 3.5mm jack. You've got your uh, AV input. And this looks like a digital TV input as well. So, that will be very useful if you've got like Freeview or HD Freeview. Keystone correction wheel. Um, yeah, that, that feels pretty good as well. No complaints there. And again, before we move on, you've got your SD card slot, which is again going to come in very handy to play back uh, photos and movie files, whatever you've got on an SD card. And coming around to the other side, what we find is you've got your VGA input, you've got your USB, and one USB, which is a little bit annoying, and one VGA port. Um, but you know what? USB, you could always uh, literally plug in like a hub or something like that. you got your power lead as well. Nothing else. A little bit of venting on the side. So that is pretty much everything to see. You've got your buttons on the top, which are your menu button and your arrow keys. Um, this HDMI cable is what I'm going to use right now. I'm going to hook this thing up. And I'm going to actually see how well this thing actually displays an image and what the menu looks like. So let's check it out. So as you can see from the tape measure, I've got this thing set up to almost 51 inches. It's going to be a little bit under 51 inches. So I just want to show you exactly how I'm filming and how I'm setting up. I've got my camera on a slider here so I can move and turn. So again, as you can see, I've got the M12 uh, Android TV box plugged in via HDMI into the back of the projector. So that's going to be video output method one. The other video source that we're going to check is the flash drive that was on the left side. Um, I'm going to use this wall as my uh, screen, if you will. So as you can see the projector is now on and what I'm going to do now is play MIDI files off the uh, flash drive. So as you see it says photo music movies. So if I scroll over to movies and select that, not music, what am I doing? I can't see in the dark. 
and then you've got the C drive. So the C drive, because it doesn't have an internal drive, the C drive is your flash drive. So as we click onto there, and this is some of my YouTube videos. Sorry about that, lost my breath. And well, let me just play. So when you select a file, it plays a small preview. It'll even actually shows you the uh, audio. It'll show you the uh, resolution of the video that you're about to play. And once you've got the preview up and you want to make it go big and watch the whole movie, all you have to do is press the play button. But this uh, whole little thumbnail is fantastic. So now that I'll press the play button, here we go. The colours that I can actually see sitting here, the camera lens can't do it justice because it's just going to look a little bit grainy. doesn't matter how um, well I try and focus the lens. Um, the pictures is superb. The clarity of the colour is very vibrant. And you know what? It's very impressive. Um, yeah, and as I'm sitting here, what you guys can hear is let me turn up the audio level of the projector because I've got this uh, turned down. So if I was to turn up the audio level right about now, I'm going to put a marker right as because I'm editing this video right now. And uh, I'll put a marker on and you can hear how loud the actual built in speaker is. It's pretty impressive. Now, I'm not going to go into like the video resolution, the, you know, how good the keystone, I don't need to do that. All of that information will be in the uh, listing on Amazon, which I'll link in the video description. This is just a pure video test to see what kind of file formats it will play and what it will look like if you want to play media or video off the web on something like a Kodi box or anything like that. So, yeah, this is all media playing off a USB flash drive. So guys, now is time for an actual test. So I've plugged in the M12 Kodi box into the uh, projector and through the HDMI. And we're going to see what this projector can actually uh, do through a Kodi box. See if it displays the same resolution, if it can play like a 1080p file like it claims. So we're going to do this right now. And as you can see, I'm going to flick from this USB flash drive input. And I'm going to switch it up to HDMI. And oh, come on, I can't see where my fingers are. No. HDMI and the Kodi box. Let me just focus this. Hold on. So yeah, um, I don't know what I'm doing at this stage. I'm actually commenting over this part. Um, I don't know why. Uh, ignore that. And for those of you that are wondering if you can plug in your Xbox or your PlayStation. Now I know this is only an Android TV box, but the uh, resolution of some of these games are pretty decent. So my initial thoughts, I'm just having a look through the menu on the... Uh, icons and everything like that everything looks really good and um, yeah I, I don't see why you couldn't use it now i know like if you were playing something like battlefield one on a projector the frame rate itself and um, so it might get a little bit distorted not, not on a static image like what i'm looking at at the moment it's absolutely fine so now we're into cody now i'm just going to press shield um won't play this for very long obvious reasons so I'm just going to click it and look, I just want to show you guys how clear the picture really is even through my uh, camera lens which is an exactly purpose fit for purpose sorry should I say um, it's not a perfect lens to actually do this but let me just show you what it looks like apologies again because it's on Wi-Fi I haven't plugged it in via Ethernet but you know what it still does a fantastic job so I'm still playing in like 720p um, there is a 1080p file, but I don't think even over 5G, I think I'll struggle because I've got really poor Wi-Fi signal in this room. Uh, let me just show you that the projector is still running, and this is running off the Android TV box. And it's 7.52 at night. And these are all your files. So you've got your HD files, you've got your good video. Just for argument's sake, I'll play a good video at 720p instead of 1080. <coughs> <coughs> My apologies for coughing now. I'm not feeling very well, guys. Hit that like button, it might cheer me up. So here we go, it didn't take very long, and here you go, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Look at that. Now, just just bear in mind the price point. Now if any of you think they know something that's a lot better at this price, I'll be well impressed, I'll be more than happy to get one in and test it out. Um, the color and the smoothness of the uh, image is like absolutely perfect, it's like flawless. Uh, let me just skip skip ahead to different scenes. Now, what I want to show you guys is because it, it's hard for to do it justice. The camera lens is not going to do this justice. As I'm watching the uh, screen on my camera, it's actually face tracking constantly because that image is that crisp. It's not blurry. It's not distorted. Um, I have no idea what it's going to look like when I've rendered this video, but it's actually face tracking right now. So guys, I think um, I'll prove my point as much as I can without like just going on and repeating myself. The picture clarity on a 
projector at this price point being under 60 70 pound you can pick it up on a deal it's absolutely amazing if you've got any questions feel free to drop me a line and you know what i'll do my best to answer them uh, I, I just wanted to show you guys the video output but this thing is absolutely fantastic works with Kodi. use a wi-fi dongle you can mirror cast off your phone so guys i hope you enjoy the video i'll see you soon take care